Hi guys, um, I'm at the studio, finally, I don't know, I'm sorry about the mess over there, but, you know, trying to angle it better, but this whole thing is really not easy, huh? Okay, so, I have all kinds of different brush, but it's okay if you don't have these kind of brushes, you can use small brushes, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use some of the smaller brushes later to show what you can do. I'm gonna show with my big brushes. Okay, so I wrap the brush a little bit, right? And then I'm going to mix my colors. Water it a little more. I'm gonna show you different sort of marks that I make from the paintings I do. So let's say, I'm sorry. Um, I normally start with the edge of the painting and I sort of think of some kind of landscape, right? And what I just did is that I barely touched the surface when I don't have much of paint left. That's what I do. And then I'm gonna water a little more, right? So I'm only gonna use transparent layers right now for now. So we're gonna start with transparent layers so that we can keep them really bright. This is called fluorescent blue. What I'm doing is that I'm, I'm sort of wet them a little more and making these little marks, right? And then what I do, I like to sort of use the end of the brush and like scoop it and scratch to the side. Yeah? And now I have too much of I'll say horizontal lines, since this is landscape, I did that a lot, right? So I like to sort of make that kind of brush marks, right? And then I'm going to water this a little more. Let me use a little more cobalt blue, which I think is more, I'll say, I mean, don't compare your color to mine. It's okay, the color quality is not the way that you expected from this painting. So I'm going to do a little more sort of, you know, that sort of marks. And always, I like to, you know, change the levels of the marks. So nothing really overlaps or in the same level. And then I'll do sort of these kind of marks, you know? And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna water a lot. So I'm using the colors that are left in the brush. Right? What I did, I didn't have a canvas ready. I had primed canvas roll so I, I taped them down onto the table, you know? And then, I'm gonna do little marks like that. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mix white, okay? Oh, I've been to the studio, so my paints are all Kind of mushy and bad, in bad shapes. So I'm gonna mix white onto the side. I'm not mixing the whole thing, right? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sort of make background. See that? Right? And now what I see that I see sort of like like my brush has been too dirty, you know? So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna use small brush, a little darker color. 
that is a little different shade, which is more colder shade we call, right? And then I'm gonna use this kind of watery marks down. I'm gonna water it out more. I'm gonna water it a little more. You know, it's okay to use small brush to make these kind of big mark. It's harder for sure, but I'll show you how to do it, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do sort of this mark, and then we're gonna connect. You see that? And then I'm gonna use a little bit of that cobalt blue, and I'm gonna color more at the end, and then do this, right? The thing is, what I do is that when I paint, oh, did I move? When I paint, I sort of, um, when I do connect these marks, I don't press my brush a lot. So I'll show you what happens when you press the brush too much and that you see that kind of like thickness you get, right? So I normally try to stay away from that, right? So I'm gonna mix a little more light. And then I'm gonna fill this part and then sort of make that little nice flow over there, right? And then I'm gonna fill this parts too now. And then I'm gonna make some smart marks over there. And then over here. So what I'm doing is that I'm not trying to repeat the same shape of the marks or same size of the marks. I'll say same size of the marks will actually mimic a lot of parts and patternize the whole thing, which makes it more textile than painting, right? So I don't like to do that. So I like to sort of make some different marks here and there so that make sort of harmony in the painting. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to use, oh, I have to order that. Back to use the darker color of the blue. It's not so um, transparent anymore because I am using white in the brush, you know? So I did that. And then I'm gonna even darken my brush a little more. And then do that, right? And then maybe because this edge is sort of just hanging in there, um, I fill that part. Um, you see how these three shapes are different, but also um, different size of the marks. And then I like to do, I'm just only, you can take time and wash your brush. Don't think that um, you're gonna have to rush to do it. Now I'm gonna sort of use a lot of water to make more transparent and lighter color to the nice sky blue that I made. And then I'm gonna sort of do you see how like I'm doing this way and then come down and then using only the tip of the brush. Can you see that different marks that I'm creating? Right? Then I'm gonna bring some cobalt blue. And then more cobalt blue. And then I'm gonna use, back to like using white, I'll say. Back to white, okay? And now, so it's time to put more opaque layers, which is the second layer that we're doing. Again, this is not uh, how 
I say? Like, if you can't finish this by today, you can take two weeks. I'll say this can be two weeks. Um, I'll maybe divide in the middle so that you can take time. Because I know that I'm so used to this painting style. So I know that it takes really like second for me to like finish the painting. But I know that that can be too much for some of the people, right? So you see how these are all wet still? These are all wet because I used more water. So I'm gonna bring those. And then so don't mix. Just make like even more marks over there. Okay. to do I like to get you like sort of like put the water in there okay you see then it mixes by themselves sort of right so you don't really need to make that extra shape too much it mixes itself I think I did a little too much, so I'm gonna pep some parts out. So even make a little more effect over there. You see that? I'm saying I'll do some of the detail moves. All right? Use, let me see. with that nice sailor blue. I'm sort of like trying to bring some different tone to the painting. Um, A little bit of purple. Love purple. Oh. So I'm gonna use a little magenta color. Bring it to that color. So I'm gonna use a little more purple now. It's a little too purpley, but it's okay. darker purple color. stand out so I'm gonna push before it's drying I'm pushing it you see this is literally turning into like some of the different tone of the marks but then what you can do use the you know this to scoop some out some out you're going over a lot of layers, you know? So it's not only one part of the painting. Okay. So now, I sort of need to wait. So I'm gonna do the second layer after you guys are done with this. So you can watch the second video, okay? 
I'm gonna take a picture for this process as well. Okay, see you soon.